looking for Shilton at the far side. Shilton gets a good head on. Smith is quick, but Flynn is the quickest. Flynn in magnificently wins the ball back for Shilton, who immediately tries to chip the goalkeeper! And it is inches wide of that left upright. Tenacious tackling by Sean Flynn, won the ball back. Slipped the ball through into the path of Shilton. He reacted quickest. He put a curler in, there's no question about that. That was a looping shot over the goalkeeper's head and just past Barrett's upright. Quick thinking there from Shilton, Matt. Yeah, absolutely. That was a brilliant move. It just uh, proves the point I was about to make that the Orient defence looks definitely a bit shaky at the back at the moment. Harry has certainly had the advantage in midfield, look a bit stronger with the tackles going in. Oh dear. That's a dreadful goal. Dreadful defensive error. Absolutely right. You can hear the disappointment in his voice. Brocky shouted heads. The head was on Jabo Ibera. And it looks like Bennett has scored. Oh dear, goalkeeping error of the highest proportions. A tremendous long clearance by Brock. Barrett started to come, then about 12 yards out from goal, he paused. The defence stopped, looking for their keeper to come. And Harriers, with only their second goal-bound attempt, possibly third of the game, feeling a bit happy now, Matt. Oh, absolutely, we spent so much time talking about Harriers' defensive errors, and then look what happens, you know, it's, uh, then again, a goal's a goal, and Harriers are level, so we can't complain. Kenny Coleman looking good coming forward. That's a shocking tackle by Tate. I've seen many, many straight reds here, and I wouldn't surprise me if he doesn't walk for this. That was just horrifically late. And he yellows him. Lucky boy. How do you see that one, Matt? No, it's red, he's gone. Straight red for Tate. He was so late on that one, and he's got to leave the field. So, two consecutive games running, late Orient reduced to ten men. And that time was for the most obscene tackle by Chris Tate. Oh, lucky for Williams there. That was a looping ball in there from the right side by Flynn. It dropped to Danny Williams over the head of Bishop. And his first instinct was to blast goalbound. And Smith's come up again. We're just about entering the last minute of Orient's most productive period. They score in the first 15 minutes of both halves. So let's hope we can keep them out. And of course, there's Ibira, and he scored. A fantastic diving header for Jibo Ibira, his second goal of the game. Lovely flighted ball in. Ayres let him go. Ayres has got his hands on his head as he walks back. This time Coleman got more room in which to move. He's looking for the long ball, and again, it's not the best ball from Kenny Coleman we've ever seen. Here's John Martin in possession. He's looking backwards. He's got Milligan chasing him. And that's an interesting ball there to Donny Barnard, giving away. Shilton coasting into the box. Henriksen scores, and it's in by Shilton. Brought on themselves, Leighton Orient. Not the best pass across the box from John Martin there. He's rowing with his defenders. The ball fell to Henriksen. His shot was half saved by Barrett. The ball squirmed free. And there was Sam Shilton to snatch his fourth goal of the season for Harriers. He's running forward. He's still running forward. He's put the ball into Henriksen who takes it. But Dean Smith again reads the play well. And that's quality defending by the big guy. Danny Williams now desperate to get on the ball, looking for that killer pass. Henriksen it is, oh, turns Jones like he wasn't there. And it's a delightful chip from Henriksen. And that's got to be one of the goals of the century. Barrett just stood there on the six-yard line. As the Dane made Phil Jones look a complete novice as he feigned to turn left. He turned inside, he turned right. And he did what can only be described as a right-footed Sean Parrish a la Hartlepool as he dinged the ball over the leaden-footed Barrett. 39-year-old Barrett could not leave the ground as the Dane dinged the ball into the top corner. 
Seven of your eight minutes left. Harry is three. Leighton Orient two. And Matt is grinning. Times like this that makes me glad to be a red. That was an absolutely fantastic goal. The goalkeeper just stood still, had no chance whatsoever. Suddenly it looks like Orient are the ones that are going to go home. The unhappy pair of the teams. Here's Dara Doyle, so a midfield man for a forward. Doyle at the far post waiting for Orient. Cleared only as far as JJ Milligan. Oh, and a magnificent save there from Barrett. That was a lovely drive for Milligan. This time he cut across the ball with the outside of his right foot. It was swerving, it was curling as the rain beats down here. But Barrett got up well, got his large frame across, got an arm up and did a super tip over. Else that would have been a spectacular goal.